Before starting the cost estimation with the BigPriest Pro mobile application, it is essential to have clear and reliable project documentation. You need to obtain the building plans, building and detail section drawings to accurately determine the work quantities. A description of the technical design solutions, from the foundations to the roof, is required to ensure that the work is priced according to the actual construction solutions. An approved list of exterior and interior finishing materials is also necessary to plan the material budget. In case of renovation, it is useful to have photos of the site or a description of its current condition. It is very important to check material prices with your suppliers before starting the calculation to ensure the estimate is as accurate as possible. With all this data available, we can quickly and accurately calculate the work quantities and prepare a reliable estimate using the BigPrees Pro mobile application. Once we have the work quantities, we open the BigPrees Pro mobile application. When the main screen with five options appears, we select the work category we need. In this case, we will choose carpentry work, the largest category, which will make it easiest to understand how calculations are done with the BigPrees Pro mobile application. After opening the carpentry work section, the main menu of this section appears. Here, we see the following subsections, building components, documents, options, budget, privacy policy, and need help. We start with the calculation options. The options can also be adjusted after making calculations, but in this tutorial video, we will start with them. In the settings menu, we see the language settings. You can perform the calculations in the language that is most convenient for you from the list. English, Norwegian, Lithuanian, or Polish. The final calculation result can be presented to the client in the language selected from the menu. In our example, we will select English. The next setting is the screen theme. There are two options, light and dark. You choose according to your preference. Next is the currency setting. Here you can choose the currency in which you want to calculate the estimate. The application will automatically convert currency exchange rates for labor and material prices. In our example, we select Norwegian Krone and press save. The next setting is the hourly rate. Clicking it opens a field where you enter your company's hourly rate for carpentry works. For example, we enter 560 Norwegian Kroner per hour, excluding VAT. Click save. The next setting is the markup. This is the setting for material markup. Clicking it opens a field where you enter as a percentage the markup applied to your supplied materials. For example, 15%. Click save. The next setting is site costs. These are general project execution costs that are not assigned to a specific task but are necessary for the construction process. They include installation of temporary structures, covers, and fencing, installation and use of temporary utilities, site facilities, storage, salaries of the site manager or project manager, technical supervision, site maintenance, and transport within the site. These costs are usually calculated as a percentage of the total work value. Click on the site cost setting, a field opens where you enter, for example, 10%. Click save. Next is the time factor. This is a coefficient used to adjust the duration of work depending on project conditions. It can increase or decrease the planned work time, for example, due to more complex working conditions, seasonal effects, or organizational specifics. The value is entered as a percentage. Click on the time factor setting, a field opens where you enter 10% and click save. The last setting is VAT. Click on VAT and depending on the country where you're preparing the estimate, enter the applicable VAT rate. In this case, for Norway, we leave 25%. Click save. We return to the main Carpentry Works menu by clicking the arrow next to settings. In the main Carpentry Works menu under Carpentry Works and New Document, there is a Save Document icon. Clicking it brings up the Save As option. Clicking Save As opens a field where we enter the name of this document. We type Example 1 and click Save. The document is saved. We continue working. Click the Building Components subsection. Here we find the building components. These are building elements. The Carpentry Works components include load-bearing structures, external walls, windows and doors, internal walls, floor structures, roof, flooring, terraces and railings, indoor stairs, holes, scaffolding, and waste. Next to each component is a number showing how many unit prices are in that component list. Opening, for example, the external walls component, we see it consists of three sections, new construction, reconstruction, and demolition. Most components have these sections, but some have only one, new construction. The meaning of these sections is as follows. New construction, 
a list of prices applied to new builds. Reconstruction, a list of prices applied to reconstruction works. Demolition, a list of prices applied to demolition works. New construction prices can also be used for renovation works. Components with a large number of unit prices have a search function. By clicking the search icon, you can enter any word that may be in the unit price name, and the list will be filtered. This function becomes available after purchasing a subscription. Now let's look at the structure of a unit price. We select external walls, new construction, and the list of unit prices opens. We choose, for example, the third one from the top and click it. This opens the full list of works and prices included in that unit price. If, for example, we take Tömermann's panel cladding boards, rectangular 19 by 148 millimeters. It consists of labor time, material quantity, labor cost, and material cost. Clicking the pencil icon next to it opens the entry where you can change the labor time and material price. We will cover this in more detail in the next tutorial about creating templates. We return to the construction components list and start the calculations. Let's say we have already calculated the quantities and this is new construction. Exterior walls, 100 square meter meters. Wooden frame, 48 by 198 millimeters. Timmermans panel, 19 by 148 millimeters. Double wind barrier, 50 millimeter frame thickening. One layer of gypsum board. Windows, 6 by 18, 10 pieces. Interior walls, 56 square meters, standard 75 millimeter steel frame, 70 millimeter insulation, one layer of gypsum board. Interior doors, 9 by 21, 10 pieces. We open external walls, new construction, select the appropriate unit price, and if we already know the works included, we immediately enter the quantity, 100 square meters. Click Done and return to the components list. Next, we click Windows and, quote, Doors, select New Construction. The list of unit prices opens. We find the one we need, installation of a 6x18 window in a wooden wall. To ensure that all the works we perform are included in this unit price, we click it. The full list of works opens. If the list contains works we will not perform, they can be removed. How? Click the pencil icon next to the work name, for example, wind barrier tape, adhesive tape, Isola, 75 millimeters, and enter 0 .00 in both labor time and material quantity fields. Click the check mark. This removes that work and material from the calculation. Click back, enter the required quantity for our unit price, 10, click done, and return to the construction components list. Select internal walls, new construction, Choose the required unit price, and if needed, make adjustments to the unit price details. Enter the quantity, 56 square meters. Click Done, and return to the components list. Do the same for the interior doors component. Select New Construction. Choose the unit price. Make any necessary adjustments and enter the quantity. Click Done and return to the components list. Once back in the components list and knowing all required quantities have been entered, return to the main carpentry works menu. Click Budget and we see our calculated estimate. Here we see the number of labor hours for each building component and total the labor cost excluding VAT for each component and total, the material cost excluding VAT for each component and total, markup, site costs, material delivery, waste removal, total cost excluding VAT, VAT amount, and total cost including VAT. If everything is calculated correctly and you are satisfied, you can immediately convert this budget document to a PDF file. In the top right corner, click the printer icon, and a window appears with four options for what to include in the PDF document. 
we select all include hours, include labor costs, include material costs, include total costs. Click generate. At the bottom of field appears where you enter the document name. After entering the name, click save. The document is saved in PDF format in the phone's memory. After closing the app, you can find the file in the My Files section. Return to the app and go to Carpentry Works Documents. There we find our estimate example one. Sliding the document name from right to left opens four options. Copy document, share the original document file with another big press user, convert the document to PDF format, and delete the document. We will discuss all actions with existing documents in the next tutorial. Now we return to the main Carpentry Works menu, and if everything is done correctly, we exit the mobile app by pressing back. As always, before exiting, the mobile app asks to save. Click Save and Exit. Thank you for your attention, and good luck with your work. <laughs>